Hello everyone, this is Bentley from Kent, Washington, and today we're going to do a primer on substrate. In your primes for profit tank, substrate is one of the most important factors to being successful. So let's go over the basics. Here we're looking in the Guppy Mansion, and you can notice right away this is a mixed substrate. So that's part one. Sometimes it is not just one substrate that is needed to do the best possible results in your application. Part two, this tank is full of both root feeders and stem plants. So things that are feeding from the substrate and from the water column. So because I have root feeders in this tank, I need to make sure that there is enough depth to my substrate so that good strong roots can be grown and that there is a good mulm layer inside there for those roots to feed on on top of what capacity the substrate has to pull nutrients from the water and using root tabs, for example. So I just talked about capacity from the water. That's what we call a CEC capacity. Almost all of the professional substrates have a really good one. So your Echocompletes, your Fluval Stratums, your ADA Amazonias, your Tropicas, all those are going to have it. Your uh, Seachem Fluoride is another great example. But one thing that not all of them have is the necessarily same granule size. There's lots of different granule sizes here. We can look at the Plants for Profit tank. Again, mixed substrate, but not as deep. This is all stem plants. So this is only about two to two and a half inches deep. I like mixed substrates because each one has its benefit and you can combine them all together if you have a little bit of everything. Now you don't necessarily have to have everything, but you could have say, Fluval Stratum and Echo Complete, which is one of my favorites. That gives you the benefits of both without really any downside. Sometimes there are some downsides to just one type of substrate, and when you start mixing them, you eliminate those downsides by combining all the benefits of multiple substrates. Now, I talked about a mulm layer, and we're going to show that in the Leopoldite tank. You can see all that mulm down in there. This is great because there's a lot of root feeders in this tank, and this is just a continual free fertilizer that's in there. When you're doing your plants for profit with your substrate, don't go digging down in to get all that mulm out of the substrate. Leave it there. This is just free food. Now, if you're seeing massive spikes in your nitrates, yeah, do a little light vacuuming, but don't vac at all. And also, if it's there's a lot of stuff building up on the very top of the substrate, then just skim over the top and get that stuff out, but leave the stuff down in the substrate. So if you have root feeders, how deep should your substrate be? If you're trying to grow lots of big swords, four, five inches maybe. If you're doing lots of, say, cryptocurrines, um, and some of the stems that will put out some good roots over time, two to three inches. I like three, three and a half inches personally in a lot of tanks, but if I'm doing only stems, I'll stick to two to two and a half. It saves me money. I don't need as much substrate. What substrates should you use? It's not about a single brand. They all have benefits. So it's about figuring out the benefit that works best for you. If you have lots of red plants, you want to use a laterite substrate. So Seachem uh, fluorite is one of the best, especially the fluorite red. It's got lots of natural iron in it for your plants to absorb, and it will release that slowly over time. Here you can see all the same type of substrate. This is good for certain tanks, usually in displays, but if you really want to maximize in a plants for profit tank, mix them. Here you can see a super deep, and this is like a complete lasagna of four different types of substrates. This is if you want to go really hardcore. That's it, guys. That's the basics. Substrate depth, knowing the benefits that help you the most, and then generally, I would say, mixing your substrates. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you wouldn't mind, leave a comment down below. Let me know what else you'd like to know about. Again, thank you so much for watching, and stay awesome.